Hi everyone, it's Fortnon from Super User Project Dial. Now, there's been a new version of Ubuntu released and it's Groovy Gorilla and it's now officially supported as a desktop image on the Raspberry Pi. So we are going to take a walkthrough. This is the first time that there's been like an official desktop image of Ubuntu for a Raspberry Pi. So I have not used this yet, so it has the setup process. I just burned this image to a card. So I'm just going to go continue here. Now you select your language, your keyboard layout, and you select the Wi-Fi network. You select where you are. You put in your name, your computer's name, a username, a password, and you can do login automatically or require my password to log in. You go to continue and it will install here. So we will just look through these things. So it has the software center, music player, a photo manager, an image editor, and a video editor. It doesn't actually come with all those things though. It's just coming with the manager, the photo manager. So it comes with a browser, Firefox, and Thunderbolt, an email client, some office programs, and some things here and here we are we are just going to wait for this to complete this is a like a full version of ubuntu it's just that we can't run apps on it that are designed to run on intel or amd processors now i think having a version of ubuntu with the desktop and everything they can run on the raspberry pi makes us feel just more and more like a computer replacement we are getting close to being done here and then we will take a walk through this. Like I said before, I have not tested this out so we will see how the performance is and everything. Okay, here we are. So we are going to click our user and type in our password. This is kind of taking a while, but it, you know, on Windows or anything like that, it kind of takes a while as well. It's just like, you know, the welcome thing kind of. Okay, so now we're here. This is the new version background. And so we are just going to skip. I'm not going to connect any accounts right now. You can, you know, choose if you want to send system info here. Location services. And then, you know, it talks about software and, you know, whatever. So we are going to go to our apps here. And this brings up our app menu. So far it feels fairly responsive. If you compare it to my laptop, it feels, you know, the same or better. So we are loading up Firefox here. Programs don't always load up super quick on the Pi, but once they're up, you know, it's pretty quick because it's a micro SD card. For storage so we are just going to you know, skip through this I put the dark theme on there okay now we are going to go to my channel now I don't have speakers plugged into this so we won't be able to test sound and everything but we will just test the video without sound so this is loading up here it's now loaded we can go to videos and we will just do another one about Groovy Gorilla here. So we can make this full screen. Now this screen is not quite full high definition but I'm just going to play it in full high definition just so we can see. I'm going to bring up stats for nerds. And it is playing here. It's dropping quite a few frames, but let's bring it down to high definition. Okay, this is now in high definition. 
and I can't test the audio or anything like that but we are just going to go back here and we will go back and we will just maybe test out some other things so let's just test out the Raspberry Pi website raspberrypi.org it loaded up fairly quick here well it's still loading but it's not super super quick I know Raspberry Pi OS is more responsive but I'm actually kind of surprised by how good this has been we will close out of these and go to some of our other apps let's just go to calculator I know it's a really lightweight app but let's just let's just see how this is So everything works good as far as you know launching apps and whatever so the new features of Ubuntu you can move around these icons and you can make folders which I have actually made folders in the last version I didn't know you could do that but the thing is it totally froze up on me so I don't know if that was just my computer or what it was but anyway yeah you can make folders here so that's nice and I like I like being able to rearrange this app view now if you go to your settings there are some new things like you can do a Wi-Fi hotspot if you are plugged into Ethernet or something like that. Now as you can see it is working with Bluetooth on here so we could connect to a Bluetooth device. Anyway so you know it's really nice to have this new version here let's just go to the software center this version definitely has a you know a different interface than you know if if you're coming from say Windows or something but I think it has a good interface as well and it has you know that software center and other things like that that make it easy if you are not familiar with like installing programs from the terminal or anything like that this always takes a while to load up for some reason software catalog is being downloaded downloading application ratings okay here we are so that took a while but we can go to search and let's just try chromium it takes a while to load up here but we will just go here and we will go install I have to type my password in here and these will install chromium chromium is the default browser on raspberry pi os however firefox is the default browser on ubuntu so we can install chromium here to get the same browser now Groovy is not really focusing on that many new features, of course all of this is new for a Pi, but it's just focusing on, you know, getting things stable and whatever, there are some new features, there are more new features for laptops actually, but you know, it's, it's getting everything nice and stable, which I think is a good thing. When an LTS comes for a Pi, if it does, I'm sure it will, that will be nice because, you know, you don't have to upgrade, although I usually reflash my images pretty often because I need to or I want to or you know something like that so I don't really care but you know it depends so yeah this is only supported for nine months so you know you'll have to upgrade sometime fairly soon but normally on a Pi you know you reflash quite often so yeah this is getting close to being done and then we will check it out okay it is now done so we will go down here and find chromium and launch it like I said launching apps on here sometimes takes a while but once they're loaded up it's fairly fast what I did notice is that the groovy gorilla logo has raspberries and for the raspberry pi version it also has the ubuntu logo okay chromium is finally loading up and we will load up my channel in here 
Okay, it's finally loaded up here. So I'm just going to actually close it and load it up again to see if it's faster this time. Much, much faster. So just the first time launch takes quite a while, but after that, it's much faster. We will just load up my channel here. And we will go to my videos. Let's just do this one again. Make it full screen. I will bring up stats for nerds. Now I am going to play this at high definition. I think this might be doing slightly better than Firefox. Maybe quite a bit better actually. It seems faster. Anyway. So that's really about it that I have for now for the Raspberry Pi 1. Maybe I'll do a stability review of this or something like that. But we will see you next time. Until next time.